All right, let's go kill a bunch of druids, shall we? I can hear you just fine. This sparrow is ready to fly. This is this is one of those quests that, especially if you have Jahira with her insect plague, you do so early, and it's very profitable. Okay, these guys, uh, well, they're gone now because they attacked me in the in the front of the map there. So let's see. Jahira has her insect plague. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, you have to have a druid to challenge this, uh, this druid in here, I think. Or I guess, I suppose you could just bust out and kill her, but... Oh, no, you can't, because uh, there's some script in this map that if you try to attack her directly, you, you die or something like that. Stronger than ever with the aid of this grove. All right. Mistaken, of Jahira challenges her, and uh, she ends up being really easy because you just insect plague her, and it's all over. Come to your death. You can actually cast spells on Jahira too if you want, and I would recommend just changing to uh, a bear and just kicking her ass. Just me, or does she have a ton of freaking... Holy crap. Okay, never mind. They might have changed this. Okay, let's uh, let's go ahead and summon the... Um... I think I can hit her from here with my ranged weapon. Can I? Nope, I can't. Okay. Well, did you hear? Are you going to cast... Okay, good. I'm not sure if I can actually, like, summon anything in here. Oh, yeah, I can. Oh, that's cheesy. Uh, go ahead. Gonna go ahead and summon a... Oh, never mind. No, I can't. Nope. All right. That was Jahira's spell. I thought I could summon the flesh column in here, but I guess not. All right. There we go. Now she should be easy. Now we change into a bear. That's usually how I do it. She's got, she seems like she's got a lot more health than I remember her having. All right, there. There you go. Okay, CERNED. All right, first of all, Jahira needs to pick up her stuff. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Boy, I don't like picking up stuff like that. I'm gonna go Amelis, I think. I await your order. Okay, and that was really all we need of CERN, so we can actually kill him now. Because it's easier to kill him than to actually get him in my party and uh, take his cloak that way, so we're just gonna kill him. Should be out here. May our deeds be sung through the ages. And stuff is yeah. Here it is. Okay, this is all I want. This is the cloak. So you see, it uh, it gives you plus one armor class, plus one saving throws, and you can use it with magical wep or magical equipment is the the thing. But I can't equip it now because only CERN can equip it. However, if you have used any item, you used to be able to equip it. I don't know. I, I don't know if that's still the case. I assume it is. Can we go over this way to get out of here? I think so. I think we can go this way, right? Yeah. Saves us a little walk. Go back to trade me, get our reward, and all that stuff. Fate beckons us all. I am yours to direct. 
Okay, this guy. I see you have the head of our quarry with you. The head of the Rakshasa. You could just kill these guys. You knew this or not, but you get, I think, the same amount of experience either way, so big deal. Duty calls, I see. I have buried many I, as you wish. And the great thing about this is that uh, there's some there's some shops with some nice stuff. I am telling you, Mark. Don't be moronic. Okay, we got a philosopher's duel over here. That ends in violence. Be gone, commoner. I have my own business to attend to. You must gather your party before. Venturing forth. Yes. So be it. All right. Talk to her. Say we helped you. Oh crap. Okay. So we got um, we got a very nice shield. Oh, you you drop my gym bag, you piece of crap. You have to identify that real quick. We got paid with a bunch of gems. Okay, I need to offload some of this stuff because uh, it's cluttering up my inventory here. Okay, this is a really nice shield. Immunity to charm, confusion, domination, and hold. And uh, got a pretty good big bonus to my armor class too. I'm going to give this to Jahir, I think. And Minsk is going to use that one. All right, so then we go talk to what's his face, and he gives us a whole ceremony kind of reward. Citizens of Trade Meet, we are gathered here today to that you. It is from yeah. you. You will always get a boost to your rep. Greetings to you. And it is pleasing, please. If you are interested in the reward for performing such a task, do come and. See. Hmm. I see that that vicious heart are not if you are foolish and work for the Lorraine and Wolves, however, you will not... There's another quest here to, um... Oh, and I get 10,000 gold. Oh my god, I'm already... Oh my god, I'm way over. <laughs> I got... Wow. I got a ton of gold for all that. Um... So we need to spend some gold before we get back into, into town. I await your order. And we also got a couple levels. What on Jahira? Good. Good. Jahira got a level up, which means she got uh, some more level six spells. That's, that's all right. Okay, good. So um, I'm going to go ahead and locate those now. Cure light wounds, I guess. Uh, slow poison, I guess. Um, another call lightning sounds good. Dispel magic. No, we've got dispel magic. Level six, another level six spell. I'm gonna get the heal spell. Um, actually, I'm not using that that uh, conjure fire elemental, so I'm gonna get two heal spells. Heal is the best healing spell in the game. Essentially, it literally heals everything. I think. I think. Let's see, um, it completely cures all diseases and blindness, and heals all points of damage. Yeah. It dispels feeble mind and mental disorders. Yeah, this is um, this is really nice. Especially nice if you can cast it really quick, which um, with someone like Eri you can do. So one of the reasons why Eri is kind of nice sometimes. Let's see, more level two spells for Minsk or slow poison, I guess. All right, so there's a couple of things here still. First of all, well met and welcome. oh, yeah, okay, this is like the Tanner's quest here, a continuation of the Tanner murder quest thing. Um, Readier than a red cheeked maiden. My yeah. The Tanner ended up running over here. And we gotta go do something about it. Only seek to know if you have truly fallen away. You risk injury if you come any closer, my misguided friend. Oh god, that's just, this is uh the added character. 
You have forced my hand. That is the weirdest kick. I have more important business than this to attend to. Yeah, it was, was kind of hard to get out of that dialogue. I wasn't actually uh, intending to spend that much time talking to that guy. All right, so what's the matter with your kid? Now, he doesn't look like a kid, actually. He looks like a full-grown thief. Okay. Um. Okay. Yeah, I've got to go run down here. I shall do my utmost. I wish Excuse I could me. scroll a little bit faster. I am Rasad in Bashir. Farewell. Yeah. Yeah, farewell till I chunk you, bro. I trust all is well. Oh. No, no, cat one's in. Okay. Okay, so I went down here to find out that the guy I'm looking for is actually over to the east. In fact, I'm going to go to the to the world map here. And we're going to just click right there to make it a little faster. I trust all this well. As always, your pleasure is mine. And they shape change into some weird skeleton things. And we just killed him immediately. What did they drop? They didn't drop anything. And um, she needs a spell of restoration scroll. And, of course, I have a scroll with that right here, so no problem there. We'll just uh, fix her up right now. Let's see, do I have one in here? Yep, I do. Right here. Easy. Anybody can cast it. Just use it really Beauty quick. Calls, I see. That's why you want to keep those scrolls around, trust me. All right, so got 30,000 experience for that. I don't know if I get anything else for that. All right, we're going to go ahead and... I think that's it. Actually, let me rest till it's day so the shops are open because we got to go shopping. We got to go shopping, bro. I was shopping big time. Um, so that was that. Let's see here. There's another thing where I can work for uh, uh, I need a, sling or a couple of these families over here. Does this guy have anything? This guy has some wooden stakes, which I'm not going to be using. Can I steal from this guy? I can. He has a few potions that I wouldn't mind taking. Potions of regeneration, in fact. Um, hmm. Do you want to start stealing? I think we're going to start stealing. So, what, pickpockets 200? I think pickpockets 200 should probably be fine. I need a swig or some Steal some potions, I think. Potion of regeneration. Those those can come in handy sometimes. So I'm gonna steal them. Don't need another. Don't want another scroll case because that's. I don't want to be walking around with so many scroll cases. I have plenty already. I just need to uh, learn some of these spells 
and then I won't have the need for so many scroll cases. Alright, actually let me save first. Let me save first, there we go. This guy's got some really nice stuff, and you can steal it. Black Blood plus three. That is a pretty good mace. I mean, yeah. You don't get better as far as a club goes for a while. Um, Dwarven Thrower plus one. That's a good throwing weapon that we can use once we have use any item. Tesharnan's, Tanishan's bow. I'll take that too. That um, doesn't require any ammo. Is this a throwing dagger? No, this is just a dagger. Uh, Staff of Striking. Interesting, it adds a ton of damage. But, nah, I don't have anybody that uses that. This summons a dancing sword if you want to carry it around in your inventory. I don't. Arrow of Piercing, Bolt. Bolt of Arrow of Piercing does adds piercing damage. That's right, yeah. More bolts plus two. Tons of bolts plus two in this game. Or um, bullets plus two, sorry. Uh, plate mail, no, 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 no. Okay, yeah. Belt of Internal Barrier. Cloak of Displacement is not worth it. But the Belt of Internal internal Barrier is really great. Like crossbow plus two. Yeah, and that's it for this guy. So the Belt of Internal Barrier, it reduces uh, missile damage by 25%, reduces magic damage by 50%. Freaking awesome. I'm going to give it this to Hair Dallas, because he's already got several innate resistances that are boosted even higher with that. So he's got 40% um, missile defense now. Uh, the Dwarven Thrower is a, is a really nice throwing weapon. And uh, usually only dwarves can use it, so um, uh, I have to wait till use any item before I can make any use of that. Ten Tenersherm's bow plus three. I've got the flasher launcher here. I'm gonna drop. Does does he have short short bow proficiency yet? Son of a gun, he doesn't. You piece of crap. Well, I'm I don't care. I'm still gonna use that bow regardless. Uh, and I'm going to ditch permanently his, his unique item there, the Flasher Launcher, because it's a piece of crap. And that means I can sell the Nasher. We don't have to have the Nasher anymore, because we have now the, um, the Black Blood plus three, which, like I said, is a pretty good weapon. Remember, crushing damage. You need crushing damage. You will run into creatures that uh, require crushing damage to beat, so having a little crushing uh, weapon that does crushing damage on you is a good idea. Staff of Thunder and Lightning. Yeah, that's okay. We're going to sell that, though, eventually. All right, so there's there's another guy over here. I think you can... I think he has some potions or something. Let me check it out. Uh, he doesn't have anything worth stealing. All right. Um, the next shop up here... I don't remember if you can steal for this from this shop or not, but it has uh, it has some scrolls I need. Oh god, this guy! Yeah, where is it? I guess it's up here. So be it. Well, you look like the sort who has more than two gold. Okay, I forgot whether you can. Okay, you can't steal from this guy, so we're buying this. And uh, as far as the other stuff goes, fortitude, okay. Protection from cold. I definitely need, I'm going to buy two of them. I try to get all the protection from elemental spells like cold, fire, electricity, and acid. Okay, breach, lower resistance, I believe we have that. Protection from magical energy, okay, there's another one that I want. Mislead, no, we don't need true sight. Eh, I don't think so. So, all right, so that kind of, yeah, that rounds it out. So I, I think I might have already had protection from cold, but that's okay. All right, so. I pledge my service and my life for the good. Now we're still above, you know what, we're above, yeah, we're above 1,700. Uh, 
God dang, this guy needs to go away. I forgot that this guy was around. Okay, this I believe this is a temple. Nope, this is okay. This is one of these guys that gives me the quest to go uh, get something from a tomb here. It's a pretty simple quest. I shall do my really quickly, I'm going to go visit this um, this temple, I believe, which is right here. I, as you wish. The gods are unforgiving, fool. Okay. Well, this what the? I welcome you with outstretched hand. Okay, so you can't steal from these places. I'm going to buy. I usually stock up on this stuff, like potions of geniuses, where you know. They have a lot of them. Any more stuff? There's a druid. Oh, they got a druid's ring. Charm animal. Well, yeah, that's useless. And protection from undead if I could find them, but this guy doesn't have any protection from undead stuff. Okay. Because we're going to be learning some spells, and we're going to be just uh, boosting our our um, intellect on our mages to 25s to make sure we learn the spells. So be it. Buried many fallen comrades. Let us endeavor to remain hail. We're just about ready to learn a bunch of those spells, by the way. Not quite yet. Alright, so we gotta go in this tomb. Greetings once again. And okay, whatever that guy says I, something. You wish. You Should be able to just get yet. rid of these guys God like instantly. Life. Apparently not. Oh, this guy might not be actually flagged as undead, but everybody else should fall pretty much instantly when I hit him with that, uh, that, um, axe. Oh, he's immune? Is, is he immune to missile damage? No, he's not. Okay, and this guy had what we need. Also has a few more items. Well, shove that in the scroll. Let's get those identified real quick. I guess we'll sell those at some point. Okay, and this is what we need, this little weird thing. You sound like Goladon. I am yours to direct, my friend. Okay, so um, all we have to do is return this thing to the the head merchant, and that's the end of it. You can return it to one of the families, and I don't know what happens. I don't I don't remember. Who is? Uh, oh my God! Did I not have that guy selected? I expect to gather your party before venturing forth. All right. Yeah. I await. I shall do my utmost. Greetings once again. Okay, so get a little bit of gold. Experience gets wish. raised. So be it. Yeah, that's about it for trade meat. You could. Um, I guess do the uh, NPCs, the added NPCs quest or something like that, but I'm not going to bother. So, where do we want to go? We probably want to go... There's Umar Hills. Do we want to do that yet? I want to go kill Firecrag. Let's go to Watcher's Keep and see if I have anything else I could buy from this merchant to, to lower my gold. Otherwise, I'm not going to be going back to to Om for a little while. Of course, we don't need to, so... Let me see about this. What else is there to buy from this merchant? This merchant also goes away, by the way. Oh, well, I could buy potions of extra healing... There we go. That does the trick. 
Any spells that I want to buy still? Resist Sphere, we have a ton of those. We don't need any more. Yeah, this merchant also goes away. You should be aware. Fire Shield Blue. We'll do that later. Or maybe we should do that now. Let's make sure we have two of those. Fire Shield Red is common. Blue is a little bit more hard to find. See, we had a gym bag. Short Sword of the Mask. I'm never probably going to use that. The rest of the stuff is stuff I sold. Okay. So we're going to do that. We're going to give those to Jan. Okay, so good. So I can get back into Baldur's Gate here without triggering that thing because I just dropped my gold below 1,500. So that's fine. Let's go ahead and rest again to make sure we're fully healed when we go in there. And um, let's see here. What else have we got to buy? More stuff in Joachim's Promenade for for sure. Yeah. All right. So. Does this guy sell anything? No better prices in arms. I guarantee it. Absolutely nothing. Okay. Potions of heroism, though, if I want some of those. Those are going to be used at some point. I am going to bust out with those, probably for Fire Craig. Let me see if I still have anything I want to get from this guy. I know he does have some, some decent stuff. Staff of Rin, no. Heavy crossbow searing. No, I have better than that, that's for sure, right now. Yeah, bullets. Nope, don't need them. Armor of the Deep Knight. Ooh. That would be nice to have. I don't uh, I don't need it yet, though. This is one of those things that I'll get eventually. Does he have potions of thievery? He does. I'll take two of them. Thank you very much. I just ran out, basically. He also have... Oh, yeah, the protection from magic scrolls. I'm definitely going to need those. I'll get the two protection from undead scrolls. Thank you very much. Um, vocalize Rod of Resurrection. We have one of those. Druid's Ring. We don't need any of that. Those spells. Nope, we don't need any of that. Okay, cool. So we will sell a little bit of this stuff here. The Rod of Terror can go. Wand of Fire can go. Staff of Thunder and Lightning can go. The Nasher can go. Wand of Cloud. I'm gonna I'm gonna sell this stuff to somebody else actually. As you wish. This lady up here. Greetings, good customer. A pearl to you. Deidre, or however you pronounce her name, because she's got tons of stuff that I still need to buy from her. All right, so Wand of Cloud Kill. Spear of the Belm, and all this other. Crap gets sold. Burning Faith. She's actually got some really expensive items, too. Dwarven Thrower. No, I don't want to sell that. That's it. Huh? Okay, good. So, um, Valor's Helm, for one. And, uh, yeah, that's really, really nice. Um... Mercy Killer Ring, not that useful. Robe of Vecna is something I want. Plate of the Balderon is even something I might want. For one of my characters, for sure. Um, I'm going to get Valor's Helm, though, because that... I'm going to need that. Cast Simulcrum. Simulcrum? And drops your armor class by one. And it allows you, or it used to allow you, to use these um, spell scrolls for free. And I don't know if that's still the case. I'm guessing it is. We'll, we're going to definitely try it at some point pretty soon. But uh, for now, we're going to stuff these spells in the spell case. And I believe I've basically gotten 
spells from pretty much all the spell shops, from what I remember. So I think we start the big process of spell learning, which is going to be me learning a ton of freaking spells like you wouldn't believe. So we're going to bust out with some of the um, potions of geniuses we've been saving up. I think six should probably do it. Because I don't see any reason not to do this now, because I'm pretty sure that I've I've cleaned out most of the, the spell scrolls that I have available to me at this point. He's 24. What is my chance to learn spells? What does he say? Chance to learn spells 100. Okay, well, that's max, I believe. Yeah. I do not care much for being prodded all the time. So what's my chance to learn spell 95? 95, not high enough, sorry. I, there still might be a like a 1% chance to not learn a spell, no matter how high it is, how high your um, intelligence is. I don't know. All right, well, let's make sure we know all of these. We know all of these for sure. Um, I think we're going to offload some of this crap here. Yeah. All right. Um, I'm gonna, I'm going to temporarily give these spell scrolls to somebody else because these are spell scrolls that I want to keep around just to cast the spells, maybe. But um, I want to also, I want to learn some spells now. Oh. Magical protection from magical weapons or not? We'll see. You know, if I can get if I can get to where I can cast those spells, yeah, I might learn those. I might learn them, or I might keep them around just to cast them from scrolls. Actually, I think I, I should probably learn them. Okay, so we're going to start the this whole scroll scroll learning thing process. This gets me a lot of experience. It also teaches me every spell that could possibly be useful in the game, just about. I did learn this, right? Yep. I mean, even though Her Herr Dallas cannot cast some spells, he can still learn them for experience. Okay, this the stuff everything else that I can't learn just goes on the ground. True sight. Okay, I don't know about improved taste yet. Actually, yes I do. No, we want to learn those. It's protection from magical weapons I don't know about yet. Protection from fire, low resistance and all that kind of crap. Lower resistance, proof taste. We want both of our guys to learn proof taste. Proof taste is awesome. Way, way, way before you can get whirlwind, you can use improved taste to make your guy just a monster. Melee monster. And I wish there was a faster way to chuck things to another member in your party. That would be real nice. Whoa! That, that must have been that 1% chance to fail. Holy crap. So even though we've got like, what it says, 150... Oh no, I'm sorry, it's only 99% chance. Oh, okay. I even just forgot what spell I failed to learn. I hope it wasn't a, something that I was really important. This sparrow is ready to fly. At your command, of course. Okay, there. Now we're at 150. There we go. Uh, which I assume means that we literally have no chance to fail. Alright, good. There are only a limited number of, like, improved haste scrolls in the game, from what I remember. And uh, if you fail to learn those, you fail to learn it. Just, that's how it is. Um... 
You see, so we didn't have breach. This is this is also a, a really important spell. Let me make sure that I have that. No, there it is, level five. I'm gonna remove and relearn it just just for the experience. There we go. Okay. Open container, lower resistance. I believe we have. Yeah. Did you see disintegrate? That's just not. Nope. Protection from magic weapon. That's not really. Yeah. Perfection. Protection from normal weapons. Fire shield blue. Apparently, he already knows it. Really. They both already know it. Really. What is that? Level four. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I'm. Color me surprised. I really do think that if you have a specialist mage, you probably need another mage in the game because uh, they can learn they can learn the stuff that you you can't learn. All right, so this scroll is actually, we've learned everything there is to learn in that scroll. So we take this scroll out, this, uh, these, these spells out here. Okay, never mind. It looks like that's it. We know that. He probably knows this. Yep. Okay. Vocalize, we have that. Okay. Fireball, we have that. I know fireball, we have. This, I don't know about. This, I don't know about. Burning hands, I don't know about. This is something we keep around. I know he has that, so. But we want to keep that. Dire charm, not going to be used. This is just. I'm just getting experience from this stuff. This stuff is. Well, most of this stuff is not going to be used. Definitely want vocalize, good. Vocalize is even nice just to keep a scroll around. Just because sometimes people just cast that out of the blue and you're not ready. Or cast uh, silence out of the blue and you're not ready. Okay. Okay. This, yeah, well, takes a while, but it's kind of worth it in the experience, and it's it's just so nice to have lots of different spells because sometimes you can get yourself in those situations where you're like, how do I get out of this? And you're like, oh, well, I, I might be able to use this spell to, to help me get out of this situation. And it's, it's really, really helpful to have a mage with a huge load of different types of spells. Because <clears throat> the game throws lots of weird, diverse situations at you. Alright, identify. We know we have identify, so we don't really need, need that. We can junk that. Mantle. Stone skin. Hair Dallas still doesn't have stone skin from what I remember. Okay, that's it. Spell Thrust, don't use it. Mantle is something I basically never use. It's it's basically inferior to um, um, protection from magical weapons. So inferior to protection from magical weapons, in fact. Because usually if you want to cast that, the enemy you're up against probably has magical weapons.
Stone skin. Finally, he gets stone skin. Stone skin is not a bad scroll to have, just to cast it from the scroll, by the way. It can come in handy. Okay, all the rest of this stuff is junk. We toss it. Literally, I can't toss anything more on the ground. Are you serious? Okay, well, let's move him over here. That way I can toss more junk on the ground. I can litter the ground. He, he has contingency, huh? Okay, fine. I'll take your word for it. I think we're... Oh my god, we have still have tons of spells here. Caco Fiend. These are the sort of spells that I, I kind of prefer just to cast um, from the scroll. And, I mean, what's the point of really learning Caco Fiend? Are you really going to cast this thing? Probably not. There's no reason to learn that ever. Chain Lightning, we have that apparently somehow. Prismatic Ray... Another one of the things I probably never use. Web. Protection from normal missiles. Dispel. We have Dispel, but nevertheless. We have a pretty good caster of Dispel already, I'd say. We'll take another one, though. Just in case, like I said, just in case. Chain lightning, I'll use that. Thank you very much. So you can only fill up the ground so much, apparently. Now, you used to be able to just stack as much as you wanted on the ground. Protection for petrification, important, by the way. Death spell, awesome. Yes, 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 and yes. Death fog is also not too bad. Simul simulcrum? Yeah. Um, in fact... Oh, I do have simulcrum. Oh, my God. I want to keep that around. I don't actually want to use it. I forgot I even had that. Okay, so death fog. Yeah. Summon fiend. I guess we'll just use that. Or learn that. Non-detection. Prove divisibility. Death spell. Already have it, huh? Okay. Stinking cloud. I know that spell in real life, by the way. Flesh to stone. Okay. Let's see what Herr Dallas can learn. Does Herr Dallas, can, can he learn the death spell? He can. Okay, good. Death spell, very important for clearing out junk monsters that you don't want to bother fighting. Incendiary cloud. Something I'm probably not going to cast a lot of. But the, the thing about Incendiary Cloud is it, uh, I believe it's, um, it bypasses magical resistance. Something to note there. Okay, these go in here because these are things that I'm going to save. Okay, can't, can't learn that. Already apparently learned that. Incendiary Cloud... To learn it or to just keep the spell around just so I can cast it? I think I'm just going to learn it just for the experience because I doubt if I'm ever going to cast that. But, again, can come in handy. Um, but if, fortunately, by the time you probably can use that, you probably already have Dragon's Breath, which also by, does the same, you know, does fire damage too and also bypasses magic resistance. So, spell sequencer, let's go ahead. He, he'll never be able to cast that, by the way. It's just, uh, it's just one of those things that... Um, I learned for the experience, I guess. And uh, I keep every skull trap uh, skull that I have. All right, so that's cleaned out. So this is clean. This is still, it's this one now that has all the, the rest of the spells here. And oh, we also got our protection from undead and all that kind of stuff in there. In fact, I want to transfer those to the other, the other thing there. So we're gonna transfer those over here. Just so we keep all the stuff that we have, you know, just just in case kind of stuff in one spot. Okay, I think I already got that stuff, but I'm sure he already already knows this. Oh, he doesn't know that. Okay. 
Here, Dallas again has to move to another tile so he can clutter up another tile. There we go. Just tons of litter on the ground now because I'm uh, learning scrolls here. Symbol stun, symbol death. Yeah. Those are scrolls you definitely might want to think about just keeping around. Let me get all these restoration scrolls out of there so I can consolidate them. In another another thing. Deafness. Okay, restoration scrolls go in here. You see how many restoration scrolls I have packed. I have 12 restoration scrolls, which is definitely enough for the rest of the game. All right, Raven Feeblement, Deafness, uh, things we're not going to use, but we're just learning just to get the experience. Okay, Lower Resistance, I believe we already have that. Glitter Dust and Remove Curse. We want to make sure everybody has that, though. Symbol Death, Sunfire, nice spell, by the way. Symbol Stun. Sunfire does not actually hit you. Uh, that's like Fireball, except it doesn't hurt you. It's a pretty good spell to have. Um... I don't use Fireball. You, you, I don't think you've seen me cast Fireball once, and that's the reason is that I'd have to cast Protection from Fire on everybody in my party. Um, or I'd have to be, like, in just the right spot where it wouldn't blow back on me. But usually it's just not worth it. Seriously, do we have that spell? I guess we do. Yeah, okay. Remove Curse. Remove Curse, another spell that's good to keep in the scroll because um, you can get cursed. Uh, you can get some nasty curses that, um, you know, you probably don't have. <clears throat> you probably don't have a Remove Curse scroll handy. I'm going to keep that lower resist scroll, too. And uh, um, Symbol Stun, Symbol Death. Going to keep those around in scroll form. Oh, whoops, I put those in the wrong place. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, well. Put those in the wrong scroll case, didn't I? It's okay. Limited wish. Now, it's going to take you a long time to be able to cast limited wish. Yeah. It's got a quest attached to it. I don't usually do it. I'm just going to learn it. Vocalize again. Vocalize, yeah, we have that. Okay, let's put that in the save scroll category there. Motion. Protection. Okay. Stone skin, we put that in the save spot. Alright, the rest goes to here, Dallas. Motion. We have that. We don't have that. We have Melf Minute Meteors. We already have those. Okay. Drop those. Those are now kind of obsolete. I mean, they're, they hit as a plus five weapon, by the way, or at least they used to. So it used to be good for keeping those around when you didn't have any plus five weapons to hit, like, say, Kangax or something. But that's now... I don't think that's the case anymore. And we're probably to a point where we can cast a better version uh, ourselves <clears throat> rather than having to use a scroll. Some low-level junk here. We know we have web already. Yeah, low-level junk. We definitely want resist fear. We've been going way too long without resist fear. And again, that's another spell that Sometimes people hit you with fear and you don't have the resist fear uh, ready. Re resist fear ready. So it's good to have a scroll around. Friends. We don't need friends. We have we're, we're, we have charisma coming out our ears, so we don't need that. Ten minutes of spell learning so far. Oh my god. I 
at least I could have learned something there. Let's clutter up a new new piece of floor space. Almost done. Web cloud kill. Protection from power petrification. This is a this is a something else. This is not a spell. This is a scroll. Okay, well we got two versions. Phantom Blade, Breach, I believe we already have Breach. Yep, we already have Breach. Ice Storm. Uh, one of the few ice spells in the game, actually. A lot of fire spells, but ice is not so common. Cone of Cold, another one. There are places where we need, like, specific elements... I'm gonna keep the protection from petrification scrolls. Oh, I keep ah, I keep loading it in the wrong one. Just realized that. Cone of cold, stinking cloud, enchanted weapon, enchanted weapon now obsolete. Was is good in the beginning of the game when you just start out. And you're like, where am I gonna get a plus three weapon? I need to hit this monster. But we've already passed that point a while back, actually. Another death spell. Good to have a scroll for a death spell, by the way. Okay. Symbol stun. We know that goes in this place. Breach. Uh, again, I believe we learned that with everybody. So we just keep a copy of that for taking down Mage's defenses on the fly. Protection from electricity. Do we have that? We have that. No reason not to keep a copy of that spell. Death spell, again, we have that, but there's no reason not to keep just a copy of the spell because it doesn't matter what level you cast it at. Flesh to stone, I believe everybody has. Nope, he doesn't have that. Okay, good. Disintegrate, not one I'm going to use very often. Find familiar, just learn that, just to learn it. Remove curse, again, that should go in here. Uh, that spell I don't need. Lower resistance, again, that could go in here. Minor reflection. We don't care. Let's see if he, he he can learn this. Excellent. Almost done. Symbol death for Zeus fear. Okay, all this actually, all this stuff, we're done. Good. Finally. Okay. So all the rest of this stuff goes in there for just safekeeping, and I have a lot of extra space just to just to store scrolls, just in case I want you know copies of scrolls that I want to cast now and then. Uh, Hair Dallas gets a level up. Pickpockets, 54. Gets level 5 mage spells. Yeah, Level 5 mage spells aren't going to really do much. But we got Breach now, just in case we want to use that. We also got Sunfire. Lower resistance. Alright. Alright, we're there. Okay, so now that we have basically a ton of spells memorized... And I still need another level on Jan. How close are we? We're, we are so close to getting a level on Jan. Duty call. We shall strike you know what? Deep into evil's heart. We are so close. I'm going to get that level. I'm going to get that level by just taking one of these scrolls, a couple of these scrolls, and rememorizing them. Chain lightning is a good a good example here. Let's just chain lightning. Let's just unmemorize that one. Rememorize that might get it. Nope, that didn't do it. Okay, we'll do it again. It's just really quickly. We have slow over here. We're gonna remove that one. Rememorize it. That didn't do it. What's the deal, Jan? This is interesting. So, okay, it used to spread that experience around. It's possible that it doesn't anymore. All right. Oh, no, there it is. There it is. Okay, no, he got it. Okay, good. He got his level up. Okay, we don't need to do that anymore. All right, so does this give me level six spells? It does not. All right, so... Alright, so he is level... Oh, 
man, he's a long way from level 12. Jeez. So, okay, so... All right, I'm going to do this. I'm Okay, we're going to do something that's really hard to do in that case. We have no choice. He's got another, another level three, which means... Uh... Oh, remove magic is a nice thing to have, by the way. I'll get a remove magic. And uh, what other things could I could I get for level four here? I now have tons of options as far as spells. I'm going to get Polymorph Self. We're just going to, to play around with that a little bit. Protection from Elisp. Electricity, I would say, um, I would say, let's say maybe Sunfire might be good at some point, because it doesn't hurt your, your, um, your party members, does it? Oh, maybe it's everyone except the, okay, maybe it does. Uh, okay, then let's take for protection from acid. Um, chaos, domination reach all right yes we'll do that I, as you wish. okay so we're not going to get level six spells the problem is we have a party of our progress is not as it could be i am sure uh, perhaps it is just me yeah um oh great What was I saying? I got interrupted. Um, it's because I have a party of six that I'm not gaining the levels fast enough to uh, to be able to cast level six mage spells by now. So uh, this is kind of an issue because I have to kill somebody um, that's hard to kill. I need to be able to cast protection from magic weapons, but I absolutely do not want to use uh, learn it from one of those scrolls because if I do that, um, or, or use one of the scrolls because if I use it from use one of the scrolls and I won't be able to learn it from one of those scrolls, it's extremely rare to get uh, protection from magic weapons in, in this game, as far as I as far as I remember, at least in the early part. So I want to I want to learn that that spell on two people, and so I need both of those copies. Oh my god, I, I gotta give him stone skin. What the heck am I thinking? What the heck am I thinking? Yeah, stone skin, dude. Two copies. I don't know what the heck you're thinking there. Okay, that's fine. That's that's kind of iffy, I think. Mirror image, not really terribly useful right now. Vocalize, definitely one of those. Um, and I would say horror, really? It still has its uses. Friends, identify, grease. Yeah. I think uh, Magic Missile is pretty much what we're going to do there. Friends, fine. Vocalize, yep, you definitely need to vocalize. Um, resist fear, oh my god, we need that so badly. In fact, yeah, in fact, forget about horror. We, we want resist fear. We want to... Uh, I'm tired of getting feared. It's so irritating when that happens. Detect evil, no alignment. No alignment's okay. Just, well, I don't really have any uses for it, but... Strength, vocalize, maybe a double vocalize? Nah. Knock, blur, agonize, scorcher. I'll do another resist sphere, why not? Okay, that's better. That's a lot better. Alright, so we gotta go to the docks. And we gotta do this darn quest. And now that I think about it, this is gonna screw me up. Can I do this now? I'm pretty sure I can. But if I'm wrong... I'm pretty sure I can. Let's go for it. 
Okay, this is where this is where I get myself into trouble with the shadow ge shadow thieves on purpose. Uh, wait a minute, did I do that? No, I didn't do that. I gotta go steal a bobble. Okay, that's right. We already got the quest to do the first part, so let's go do that. We just got sidetracked really big there and never ended up going to do it. So let's go to the temple district. I expected this much. There's so much to do in this game. Especially in the first part when you're like hit with everything at once. Uh, no, I have to steal from the, the Talos temple. That's right. Good, because we have a thief. Your okay, is this lady? Where is this lady here? I might be able to just pickpocket it right off her. Yeah, okay, that works. Duty call. I shall do my you can come back when she's sleeping. That way, you you know you can just uh, open a chest. I think with the the item in it, it's a little bit easier. But you can just pickpocket it right off her. So be it. In fact, if I remember, usually I just pickpocket that at the first part oh, point in the game where I can, and uh, then when I get down here, I don't have to worry about doing that. Oh my god, the scroll speed is so horrible. Urgent, is it? We shall strike a blow deep into evil's heart. There is no more. I await I as you wish. All right, now I go down here, get the quest so from it. this guy, or tell him I finished it. Is it. Okay, and then he tells me to go up and talk to Edwin. This is where you finally meet Edwin. I if I was going to have Edwin in my life. party, I would have done this a long time ago, but we're, good. we're not going to have Edwin in our party, unfortunately. I am Edwin Odesseron. You simians may refer to me merely as sir, if you prefer a less... Okay, and he tells me to go somewhere else to do something else. I expected as much. Uh, Pardon, turnip reflex. It's, uh... Stand ready. It's pretty easy at this point in the game. Now that I'm all decked out. All right, I love ranged weapons. So awesome. Okay, there's this stuff is trapped to heck here. I believe this is maybe a protection from undead scroll. Maybe protection from magical energy. Did we learn this? I believe we did. Okay, never mind. We're still under the effects of. No, we aren't. Did we learn that? It's level six, right? Protection from, yep, we did. Okay, never mind. So that goes in this scroll book over here. Chris scroll of weakness, we don't use that. Clairvoyance, we don't care. We're just gonna ditch that. You have a plan, so be it. Okay, now we got like stone golems and iron golems and all this other kind of crap here. What is this, is this stone? Okay, it's a stone golem. Clay golems are what I didn't want to run into there. Okay. This is something's trapped over here. No, it's not. Okay. Let's just go up there then. And we kill this guy like in just instantly, basically. Duty calls, I see. Yes. So be it. strike you down. All right. Easy. The usual cheese where I just uh, insect flag him basically from the right from the very start. There we go. I could have breached him if I wanted to, but who cares?
has some minor items on him. There's, I believe, some spells. There's also some traps in here. So I gotta be careful. Okay, yeah, both of those are trapped. But there's this. It's mislead. And I believe, actually, with mislead, I can maybe pull some cheese, I think. Used to be able to, right? Yeah, mislead might do it. We'll find out, that's for sure. I can hear you just fine. I shall do my utmost. All right. I, as you wish. Really quickly. So be it. Edwin, we killed him. Has the cowled fool been disposed of? Okay, he wants some documents. I don't even have to, like, go outside. I could just use Jan to, I believe, just pickpocket this guy. I've nicked a bit from our friend here. No, not yet. I've nicked a bit from our friend here. There it is. Got it. Await your order. We Do you have the blow deep into evil's heart. This matter is more is no important. Now he tells me to go back to Mavar. So I go back down here with, um... With Keldorn, and uh, so it's the most efficient way of doing things rather than going back in, back I out. You just split your life. party members up. Edwin has been telling me you are at the very least competent, fairly good at the uh, sneaks. Now I just have to go upstairs exactly what I'm oh, for. I can do and that. talk to this guy. I'm asleep. Have we not the time to sleep? You get his dagger, then you I just talk to Mavar. Yes, yes, yes. Truth be known, the spirit I'm not is willing, to my friend. Now we go back to Edwin, who tells us to actually, or who gives us the key to rob Mavar of his secret documents. Here. You now have the trust of Mavar securely in hand and have proven your competence to me once more. Though just barely. Okay. Uh, Edwin would join you at this point, and he's a really awesome character, but unfortunately he's not really compatible with uh, how I'm playing. So. So that's just, that's just how it is. So Edwin goes away, so and I'm not sure if he shows up again. I have buried many fallen comrades. Let us you endeavor to like remain to this day. Yeah, but anyway, he's gone as far as we're concerned, because we're not going to be it using shall him. shall be done with skill and care, if not brevity. And now we have everything we need um, to complete the quest for the Thieves' Guild, and basically uh, the... The shop guy will disappear in here, uh, who you can buy and sell stuff from. In fact, let me go make sure, doubly sure that I got everything from him that I that I want. I think so. Yeah, that's right. I cleared him out recently. I am yours to so, pledge myself because he disappears once I complete this quest over here. But first, we're going to um, sleep because we're going to need to do this because we're just about to just about to trigger something. I shall do my utmost. Our stay had best be a short one. I don't want to cast haste because I don't want to fatigue myself. I'm I'm going to have. We're going to do something that's really hard to do here. You must gather your party before venturing forth. You must gather your party before venturing forth. I'm just hoping it's possible. Your party before venturing forth. What? At once? Okay, so if you talk to this guy, you complete the quest. He gives you, I think he probably gives me enough gold to set me over the 15,000 limit. I 
you've set a trap for the I'm gonna set about a tr bunch of traps over here or three if I can the okay there's the two if I'm lucky I'll get all three off here I've set a trap okay the there's three the okay you know what I've decided to do to make things faster let's go ahead and go out rest really quick so Jen gets his traps back and then come back and, and retrap because you can set a maximum of five traps he only has three traps per per rest though so I'm gonna get the rest of his traps right now yes we yeah. shall strike a blow deep into evil's heart there is no I as you wish all right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to kill Reynold Blood Scalp. He has, um, he has the boots of the Cheetah Speed, so I can get another boots of speed for my party. Uh, if he disappears, and he dis disappears if you join Bodhi, then um, he does not. You cannot get those boots of speed ever again. I think. And it's almost like, uh, I don't think you were, I'm not sure when you were actually supposed to be able to kill him is the thing. But uh, the problem is, is that if you attack the Shadow Thieves now, they will, um, there there will be a an unkillable character that spawns and starts just one-shotting anybody who he can. However, it may be a bug, but... If the character he tries to attack has protection from magical weapons, then he can't kill them. And so that's where protection from magical weapons actually comes in handy. And that's how it used to be. I, I assume it's still like that, although I don't really know for sure. I know I did play this, the Enhanced Edition, a long time ago, and it was still like that. But, you know, there have been several updates um, in that time period but anyway we're gonna try it so um but first let's go ahead and get our reward you know, this reminds me of that time way back actually let me think would there there would definitely let me okay let me test I, things first ready? let me test this stuff first okay so let's do this what we need is the we need the the scroll of protection for magical weapons or one of them okay We need to put that right here. We need to save. I'm gonna go ahead and do mislead, see if that works. This sparrow is ready to fly. Okay, that doesn't let me do it. Son of a gun. Alright, let's reload. So that's that's a no-no. They might have fixed it. They might have fixed it. Which will definitely change things if that's the case Let's throw the mislead back in there let's get uh, simul simulcrum this was the old exploit that I remember so well so yeah I don't know let's see if this works Aha! Uh -huh. That works. Okay, so at the cost of a simulcrum scroll, which is, which shows up pretty frequently, I can, uh, I could do this. I could get the protection from magical weapons. Okay, there it is. Let's go ahead and uh, start something. Let's see. Okay. Well. Yeah, they're... Okay. <laughs> this is not easy. In fact, I'm. what I might have to do is I might have to take... I might have to take most of my characters outside and, uh, and actually test this out. Um, well, you know what? Uh, we'll go ahead and mess with this when we continue in the next video. It's already been an hour. So next video should be fun.